so anyway, it's Thursday, and um, um, this is the status. Uh, it's drying out nicely. There's a wet spot and a wet spot. Uh, it's nearly dry, and uh, we're going to coat the surface as soon as possible. I can't do it tomorrow due to appointments, but anyway, there you have it. So here's my parabola on Saturday, 1st of September with the um, little thing removed that I made the parabola with. Parabola is fairly good. There's a little chunk here where I went too close. And these little things, I'm going to smooth them out. Anyway, I have a mix made with um, clay slip, which is here in the bucket. Uh, so it's kind of fairly thick clay stuff. The kitchen foil is straight over top of the clay. And hopefully, the kitchen foil will um, will stick to the clay just as the clay is the, um, the glue to make this thing hard so it should um, in theory um, hold on the um, aluminium foil too. So here we have the little holes patched and uh, I'm going to spread some of the, the goo and uh, yeah it's getting close now. So here it is after a bit of troweling and uh, I could use the lumpy clay, I actually did use some of the lumpy clay and you might find something different in a trowel gives a smoother finish so I used this um, little thing that someone gave me and I also used the trowel to finish it but the trowel doesn't do quite as good a, a smooth finish so it's not perfect or anything like that but I'm not aiming for perfection I'm just aiming for something that's doable. So, there we go. Here's the kitchen file application. So I went down just a little and uh, uh, put the file on. And um, I leave about, well, I left about an inch of a gap here and leaving a little bit more of a gap here so that this is going to be top and the water's going to flow that way. So I should have left more of a gap here. But um, these are the mistakes you make on uh, an experiment. Anyway, um, the gap is, you know, just like in building construction where um, water flows from top to bottom. So if it does rain on it, hopefully the water will all just go straight off the, um, the project. Here we go. I um, covered with the foil. I pushed it up on uh, this is supporting it here and here like ideally the thing would be on wheels but this is the first one and made it a bit heavy anyway inside here we can see the second piece of wood and the tarp here that's holding in um, the bottom and um, that's containing the clay and as you can see, it's I probably made it too big in, to begin with, and uh, it'll take practice to make uh, the final type product. Anyway, the idea is to have an A-frame yeah, or a sandwich board uh, on wheels, and you just uh, say, I guess four wheels, and you just spin out the sun when you don't use it, and uh, it would be adjusting with the um, the um, the back of the, the frame will be adjusting it. And here it is, pretty down dry. The sun hasn't come to the focal point yet, and I'm just going to wait for it to do so. Anyway, that's the uh, first attempt. Anyway, here it is, pointing. The sun is almost uh, directly over the, you know, almost directly pointing at it. But there's a wee problem because uh, it's a very cloudy day, so I'm um, not sure how much sun is getting at it, so it's going to be a waste of time, um, you know, performance-wise, but uh, I'm going to put it on the internet anyway. Um, I'll do tests later if, uh, if there's daytime when I'm not working, when I can do it. Uh, that wind, the sun is almost directly in front of it now, so we should be able to. Um, oh, I think it's actually heating up a little bit too. 
uh, we'll check in a few minutes and we'll uh, see how good the um, uh, spot is. I'm sure it's not too good because uh, obviously um, I've got all those crinkles in the um, the foil, but uh, we'll see. So I don't know if this one damaged the camera. Anyway, it's pretty bright. Uh, sun is. Uh, it's obviously heating up the thing because there's uh, there's moisture on the top, but uh, pretty cloudy up there. I'm going to check uh, the. Uh, so this is how you move it off. And I'm going to try and check the focus. So, focus would appear to be about there. Go closer, it disappears. Go further away, it disappears. So, there's where the focus is about uh, six eight inches below my hand and yeah it's pretty warm down there so it's not a didn't expect it to be perfect anyway but it's um, uh, where is it again there so um, that's where it is Anyway, um, I think it went fairly well with the solar cooking. I went away for uh, quite a while, and I guess you can't see the temperature on this. I'm going to uh, turn it off. And uh, anyway, the temperature is about 50 at the moment. So this is the sun is first, uh, almost at right angles to the um, cooker, so it hasn't been cooking for some considerable time. So, uh, it's about 50 degrees here, and the sun has been um, not pointing at it for maybe three hours, so that means it's been cooling down for about three hours. It's um, a quarter to five now, and it was probably, so it, I think the cooker must have worked well. And um, here we have, the, um, the bag, the oven bag, and here's water in it. It's about this is all water that was boiled off the the clay. So uh, I've just got to uh, measure this quantity of water. It's I don't know about 50 cc maybe, and uh, then we can figure out some of the um, heat that was produced.